In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to use the manual input within the product search tab. And in the manual input, you have the option of just entering all the express product links in here, and it will go and extract all the data that you need um, from these particular links that you put in here. Or you do have an option of inserting content that can be extracted in here. So basically, you insert content in here, that contains some sort of um, AliExpress product links. And then this is a, basically a scraper. It will scrape through that content looking for product links that you can extract data for. So let me show you some unique ways to use this that you probably would never thought of, and it's pretty awesome. So firstly, I just wanna show you, you can put products in here. So if we just go to AliExpress, for example, and just type in you know, your keyword, hiking, and you look at a particular product, all you gotta do is get the link at the top of the address bar. And to do that, you could just click in here. And if it's not selected, right click and select all, and then right click and copy. I'm using Google Chrome in this example. Now here you go right click and paste. And once you've got the link in there, just click extract data and boom, it should get it for you no problem, just like that. Let's just clear this out. I'm gonna show you a couple more ways to utilize this because obviously, if you have a list of AliExpress product links you get from some other tool, software, or somewhere else, this is where you can put it in here, you can extract the data out. Another really cool way is by putting some input in here and let this little scraper tool scrape out the links for you. This is where you can get really creative and do some pretty awesome stuff. So let me show you what you could do. Let's start with just being on AliExpress. When you go to AliExpress.com, um, you'll notice that there's a lot of different products you'll see right on the home page. Or let's say you go into, um, you're in a kid's niche, for example, just type in, just click kids. And we could see there's a bunch of products showing up in here. I wanna show you a sneaky way of looking at these products, of getting the data for these products. So as you can see, as you're scrolling down, AliExpress keeps showing more and more products. Well, if I just hold down the page down key on my keyboard, if you have that key on your keyboard, uh, my keyboard does, so I'm just gonna hold it down. It's gonna keep scrolling down and down and down and let it, let it go for a little while. So I'm not sure how many products there are there. And what I wanna do is try something cool. So I'm going to right click, I'm, I'm in Google Chrome, remember? I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna select inspect. And you should see, let me try here again, inspect. There we go. So you see it brought me to that particular product in the, in the code in the, of, the, of the actual um, page. So what I wanna do is you can see all of these LI uh, HTML things. These are, these are all the product links. They're, the product links are actually inside there. You can see the product link is in there. So what we can do is we can actually just go all the way up until all of these, to, to the beginning here. You don't see those, okay, there we go. And go to the, the, the one element above, it's UL, and it's a list thing, or HTML list, I guess. And what you wanna do is right click that, and then copy outer HTML. So copy that. Now let's go into this content thing here and right click and paste. Now let's extract the links out of there. And boom, it just found 585 products. Pretty awesome, eh? So now we can go here and extract the data. And now it's gonna go through and grab, and we're using the download threads here. So we're downloading 15 products at a time. We've already gone through 45, 60, you can see just how fast it is, so I'm just gonna pause that there. But we just got all these products, but that's a pretty wicked way of getting some, some products very quickly from AliExpress using the parser thing. So let's continue here. I'm gonna clear this out and try another example. So that's for these particular pages. I, I, you, another thing you can try wherever you see Pro, AliExpress products is you can just right click the page and look at view page source. And then you, 
Control A to cop uh, select all, Control C to copy the content and paste it in here. In this particular case, the links are hard to find in the source code because they're contained in something called the DOM, I believe, but you don't need to understand that. Basically just do what I showed you by right clicking and inspect instead. And again, you wanna look for those, um, I keep doing it till you finally get to these LIs and then just kind of scroll up. Look for that element above. This element contains all of these elements inside of it. That's why you want that one. Right click, copy, outer HTML and you'll get it. And let's say you're actually using the search engine on AliExpress for something. Camping tent. And you do a bunch of searches in here, like say you're doing orders. I wanna see, you know, by say by orders. And you select a few other things in here. Maybe you're searching around here and searching within results, doing whatever you do on AliExpress. And you want to actually see all these in the data grid in Ali Inspector. So what you can do in this case is you don't have to do that fancy trick by going to inspect. You can actually on these search pages, you can just right click, view page source, select all, copy, paste, extract links, and there we go. We'll get the 48 products that were on that page. And we can extract those data real quick. And just like that, we've got all the data pulled in to all the inspector. Let's continue. On Google, here's another awesome trick. It's always good to get results from Google because it is the top search engine in the world. So here's what you want to do. Use a special search parameter. First type in the word site with a colon. I'm telling Google, look, I only want to search products, I only want to search on AliExpress. So let's put AliExpress.com, but this is important. Do a forward slash and then the word item and then another forward slash. So I'm telling Google, hey look, I only want to search on the site AliExpress.com, but I only want to see links that contain the, the word item in it because that will associate with a product on a product page on AliExpress. Now using double quotes, you can search for an exact match keyword, for example, fishing, which will be your main seed keyword your, in your particular niche. Click enter, and now Google will return pages that will only contain aliexpress.com forward slash item and the word phishing. And in my, I'm actually logged into my Google account, and in your Google account somewhere, I, I can't recall offhand, it's probably in settings somewhere, you can, there, advanced search, there it is, I think it's in here. You can set the number of pages that you wanna see. Okay, I thought it was 200, I guess it's only 100. Well, if I go to settings, search settings, you can see results per page, I have it up here. So I moved it up to 100. Whoops, <laughs> I just closed my page. Let's do that again real quickly here. Okay, so now we got this page and all we have to do here is we can just right click, view page source, control A on your keyboard to select all, control C to copy to your clipboard. Let's clear this out. We can also click the paste button here, extract links. Well, 187, there's definitely more than 100 results there, but I think some of these might be duplicates. So if you go and extract all the data, And let's extract some of them there and we just click click uh, abort there so whenever you want to abort a process you want to click the abort button at the top now we right click and we can go delete remove duplicates and there were no duplicates found in this particular one uh, 
And that's how you can extract data using Google, which is pretty awesome, given it's a top search engine. And not just not Google, you can do this in other places as well. You just need to find those links that have forward slash item in it. So you can do it in Yahoo as well. So I believe Yahoo uses the same code. You can do the same thing here. Make it faster, just do this. Copy. Let's view source. Select all, control C. Clear. Control V, extract links. Oh, I didn't find any in that one. Another thing we could try is just copy the content on this page. So select Control A, Control C, see if that works. Control V. Oh, there we go. Ten links just came through. Let's extract those. And we got them. So that's another way to doing it. So basically, when you find sites that have a lot of links on them, I would say AliExpress, Google, and Yahoo are probably the best places, and Bing, but we already have Bing built into the software, so we don't have to use Bing. And this gives you an additional way of getting products that may have not been able to get using AliInspector, but you still have the ability to extract the data if you're given the product links within here. So that's another very powerful feature we integrated into the software.